what's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Cops Court and Community. I'm Darnell Leeson. If this is your first time here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And once you do, type in the comment section below, I subscribe, and I will personally welcome you to the community. Also, guys, please consider becoming a channel member, and I have some exclusive perks uh, for those of you um, that do. So let's just jump right in and get into the comment of the week. So this week's comment of the week comes from Justin Frankel, who commented on a video, how can truck drivers avoid parkways using Google Maps and Waze Apple Maps? And Justin states, would a smaller trailer that simply holds two dirt bikes still be allowed? It is not an enclosed trailer, but does have its own license plate and registration. It is shorter than the length of a car. I apologize if it is a silly question, but any info would be greatly appreciated. Thanks a ton. Well, Justin, first of all, there is no silly questions whatsoever. And I appreciate you asking the question so you don't find yourself in trouble. Now, most people think when they see those commercial signs, you know, they think that it's got to be like a big, you know, tractor trailer truck or box truck or commercial type van. That's not the case. All right. Anytime you enter on the parkway system within New York State, you cannot have any commercial vehicle truck or trailer on those uh, parkways. The only time that you can have a truck or trailer is on an expressway. So on Long Island, you have the Long Island Expressway. You have the Bruckner Expressway in New York City. Okay, you have the Major Deegan. You have all of these expressways, but you have the Taconic Parkway, the Southern State Parkway, the Wontaw Parkway, the Northern State Parkway, Stay off of those with those vehicles, because what's going to happen is New York State Police, they're going to pull you over and they're going to write you a summons for disobeying the signs and whatever else that they can find. Um, so it doesn't matter if it's a trailer or not. Um, you, you, you're only permitted to have passenger type vehicles on those parkways. So please do me a favor. If you have been on that parkway or any of the parkway systems in New York state, don't do it again, because trust me, you don't want to get caught. Now I see it all of the time, man. I see these people with these, like you, the, the, the regular trailer with the little, uh, metal gate. I've seen the enclosed, uh, trailers. I've seen U-Haul trailers. I've seen it all. And when they get caught, I see them on the side of the road on the shoulder. Now, that fine, I'm not 100% sure what that fine is. Um, once I get that information, I'll put it down here for you so you know. But trust me, you're going to get points on your license as well. Um, that's one thing that I have to say that the state police, they do not play around with. If they see those vehicles, the trucks, the trailers, they're going to stop you and they're going to ride you. Even a U-Haul van. Now, you would think a U-Haul van... Hey, that's small. You know, you got the Sprinter van here with no lettering, but then you have the Sprinter van or the regular cargo van that's either U-Haul, Penske, or any of those other uh, companies. What's the difference? To be honest with you, I don't see the difference. Um, I, I personally, I don't think I would write that summons. I would probably... No, in fact, I would pull you over and I would advise you, listen, this vehicle is not permitted to be on the parkway. And I would kindly ask them to get off on the next exit and find an alternate route, not on the parkway. All right. I know it's a little inconvenient. You know, when I lived a little bit further out on Long Island, you know, it would have to be, you know, almost four to five miles from the expressway to my house versus the uh parkway it was only half a mile a mile at max so it was very convenient for me to take the the parkway versus the uh, expressway but 
you know, I only drove a passenger car, but just thinking back when I moved um, into my uh, home, obviously had the big box truck. I had to take the expressway and not the parkway. The other issue is if you have, and I know it's not you specifically, Justin, you're not driving, you know, the big truck. Problem is with these big box trucks and these tractor trailers, they seem to find their way um, on these parkways and they're hitting you know, the underpasses with these trucks and causing damages. But uh, I'm, I'm not getting into that uh, today. Uh, my whole thing is for uh, Justin and the trailer question. So uh, again, you, you can't have these uh, trailers, whether they're open or enclosed, whether they're just a little short thing where you have a couch or, you know, whatever the length of it is, you're saying yours is, um, about the length or smaller than a car doesn't matter man uh unfortunately i'm sorry you cannot have that on the parkway system you're you're opening yourself up to um summonses and you know times that we're in regardless if this was a great time um that that's not a reason to um get stopped and have money taken out of your pocket because they're going to levy some um, fines against you. And again, you're going to have some points on your license. So stick with the expressways, with the trailers, again, with the trucks, the commercial boxes, the tractor trailers. Um, e even if you have the trailer, Justin, um, if you don't have a truck GPS, uh, just go into your settings and you can put, you know, avoid, you know, highways, you can put avoid the parkways, you can put avoid tolls, you can put all of that stuff in, especially if you're using ways. I, I can't speak to the Google Maps and the Apple Maps. I don't use them. You know, I, I, I'm biased because I love ways. Um, so put those check those settings. And if you happen to use any of those other uh, platforms, check the settings, see if you can avoid them and then you know, it, it will um, not direct you on there and you won't find yourself um, getting into trouble, getting pulled over by um, state police or any uh, law enforcement uh, for that matter. And it will save you a big, big headache. Well, I hope I answered your question. And if any of you guys have any questions, comments or concerns about anything, please put them in the comment section below. That's why I'm here. Um, I'm not an attorney. I am a law enforcement officer. Um, I'm, I'm here to help. I'm not here to hurt anybody. Uh, people always say, oh, you know, your views are so short. You only have 100 views, 20 views, 5 views, 1,000 views, 2,000. I don't care. As long as I help one person, then I did my job. And that's all that matters. Well, that's it, guys. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this little video. Again, if you have not subscribed, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Become a channel member. Don't forget to comment. Share your concerns in that comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.